This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Cancer. From April 20th to May 4th, 2022. <laughs> I'm gonna pull and meditate on your first spread so that you're part of the vision. Now, I can get these cards together. They're just popping right out. Now let's see what's going on for you in the next two weeks. Four of Wands, that's my favorite card. Eight of Cups. And the Nine of Swords. Huh. There's a love interest here. A four, four of Wands is a twin flame indicator. We know that you're dealing here with somebody, it's, it's someone you, you have a lot in common with. You may have the same common purpose. Four of Wands is when twin flames come together to focus on a shared life's purpose. There's somebody very good in your energy, but it's it's like you're making some... I don't feel that you want to move away from this person, but somehow it's like you're being torn away from them. Let's do, let's do the vision here. Let's see what's going on. Sometimes they, they take a while, so bear with me. I'm seeing like there's there is like like a departure taking place. It's hard for me to do visions because like sometimes I understand the concept, but the the vision is very hard to explain. Like there is so much happiness that I'm feeling here on both sides. Very romantic energy. But it's, it's, it feels like there's something to do with, I don't want to say it's work. It's more to do with future plans. Like the, the best thing that I can see is a forest. That that's, that's the only thing I can really see in terms of what I can connect to words. It's like somebody is leaving for a forest. And that's like, now my, my eyes are open now, so I'm looking at the cards. Like th th this card feels the most like the vision because it's funny, I never noticed the green in, in those rocks before. Rocks should be brown, but they're green. I feel that you're, you're going the forest, trees, money, something, there's something that needs money. I feel that, that you're, you're leaving a connection because it's, it's kind of like you need to make some money. This is your energy that this eight of cups is your energy. Stressing you out. Uh, how is this person? Let's clarify the Four of Wands for this person. That's their energy. For them, maturity. For you, helpfulness. This is someone that understands you very well. They understand the reason that you're, you're, you're needing to depart from them. They're very mature. There's no resent. They, they, they have clarity on, on the reason. It's, it's very hard for you here. This Nine of Swords. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords for you. What are you so stressed about here? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel it's money. The Knight of Wands. And the Fool Energy. You're starting something new. Like it's, it's a new adventure for you. 
work related. It, you have a strategy in place, but it, it's it's this. It's almost like you're worried about how everything is going to go because you're already seeing how this is affecting like this connection that you're in. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles because this concerns your person. For them, trust. I get it. Yeah. For you. Knowledge. I feel that you may be afraid of somebody else pursuing your person. You may know of somebody else that's interested in your person. You feel that that... It is a trust issue. If you're, if you're worried in that sense, there is a trust issue. I feel it's not so much your person, but... Somebody that, that is connected to both of you here. A Knight of Wands energy. You know that somebody else in your close proximity likes your person. And it's like you're not going to be around. You're kind of worried here. Um, should you be worried of this Knight of Wands? Actually, before we get to that, how is your person feeling about, does your person know that you're stressed about this, about whatever this is that you're stressed about? Do they, well, we do have knowledge. They do know. Should you, should you be worried about this Knight of Wands? <laughs> we'll go back to that question. Should you be worried about them? Seven of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Ten of Wands. No, there's, there's not going to be enough time for this person to really get what they want from... There's not going to be enough time for this connection to develop when you're away. The bond that you have, it's it's so beautiful. There's trust there. there. There's promises that will be kept for you. So even though you may be distanced from your love interest, there, there's not going to be enough time here for something to, to come into being. Let's clarify this seven. <laughs> I feel that, that all your attention is on how this is affecting your relationship. You're not too concerned about where you're going. You're more concerned about the relationship. So I'm clarifying your, your person's energy here the most. But something is pulling me to this moon card. I want to clarify the moon. Sorry. For them? Goodness. For you? Power. Yeah. You don't need to be worried about the separation. There, there, whatever, whatever you think that you're gonna miss, it's 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 only gonna make you more powerful. Like it's this energy where this person will wait for you to come back. So, yeah, you you can trust the person that you're with. Let's figure out where you're going. I feel that you're going to make some money. How will this new adventure be for you? Will it be prosperous? Will it be what you expect it to be? Page of Swords. Two of Swords. And the King of Cups. Huh. There's someone good coming into your life that you haven't met yet in terms of this new adventure. Somebody that is, it's, it's a boss that governs with their heart. You know, like the King of Cups to me is that Nelson Mandela sort of person. Like someone that, that has a lot of empathy, someone that, that governs with love and not fear. You, you haven't met this person yet. They're still coming in. This is someone that you don't know about. 
they don't know about you, but your idealism, what you're looking for, like something that is perfect, something that is idealistic for you, this is going to excel that idealism in, in a way. It, it's almost like the way you're looking at something is that as it being very functional, but there's someone that, that is going to be very, their love for what they do is going to make you feel something that you don't expect yet about this, this position or this adventure that you're going on. So this is pretty good. Let's clarify this King of Cups for you. Equilibrium, very balanced energy for them. Wisdom, very wise. This is someone who's going to share their knowledge with you. This is someone that, that will want you to succeed. They're not going to hold their status over top of you with this equilibrium card. So I like this for you. In the extended, I don't feel we have anything to worry about in terms of your love interest. I'm not getting that feeling. I'm getting a lot of devotion. From the vision, I felt a lot of devotion on both sides. It's more like where you're going. It's, it's more crucial for you to know. So we're going to ask the, the random situation questions. We'll ask, what higher knowledge will this situation unlock for you? There's wisdom coming in. That's already on the table. We'll ask, what's the biggest factor that's benefiting this, what, that's be benefiting you in this situation? We'll ask, what should you be careful of in regard to this situation, in regard to this adventure? And we'll ask, what hidden opportunity lays within this situation? Ah, this is still hidden from you. All right, the link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.